Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Card Voyant. I'm Chris, and I'm your Card Voyant. And I'm here today with kind of a different kind of um, video for you. I've been thinking about doing this for a long time, but I needed to get permission from my clients and figure out exactly how I wanted to present it. What I've finally decided to do is this little intro, and then the rest of what you hear will be audio. Um, many times when I give uh, readings, and you know I do all of my readings, maybe you know, I do all of my readings as recordings. So people will email me their questions, uh, background information, and then I do their reading, record it, uh, send them a picture of their cards and the audio recording. So I have a backlog of, of you know recordings that I have for people. So I reached out to many clients who've been with me for a long time and asked if I might be able to post portions of their reading without, certainly not without uh, identifying them and nothing that is personal to their reading. Only parts that I thought might have some broad appeal that have this sort of universal information or some sort of um, spiritual information that might be beneficial for a lot of people to hear. And this is kind of how my readings go. I mean, we do, of course, ask the questions that people have and their guides will, will, you know, they always come through in answering those questions, but there's always a lot of other information. And usually it's information that backs up or informs the, um, the, the answers to their questions. Um, some, I mean, I always ask in my readings, what would it be good for my client to know? What do they need to know? What would help them to know right now? And so, um, Sometimes it's, it isn't directly re related to their questions, but it's something that their guides felt that they should know. And I've kind of felt like there's a lot of information that might be helpful to a lot of people. So I'm going to begin posting um, some of these clips. Again, there will be audio. I don't know if I'll do an introduction because as you can see, <laughs> I, I didn't even, I, I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to do audio. And then because I was just kind of like looking like this today, but then I thought, ah, what the heck, um, let's just go ahead and post this. So at least you have an introduction and kind of know what's going on here. This first clip that I selected, I thought um, it's very informative. And also I felt like very, um, you know, loving um, all, you know, all the messages from, from guides are you, they're just not negative things in them. But I really felt it it spoke um, about some of what's going on in the world today, as most of the videos that I'll post in the future um, do. So I hope this is meaningful to you. And I hope that videos I post in the future along these same lines will be similarly helpful. So with that, um, this is a reading for a client that was given earlier this year, kind of, I think it was maybe September. Um, this particular client works in healthcare and also in sort of spiritual matters or caregiving matters. So that may be um, helped you to sort of inform what we're talking about in this person's reading. So with that, uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you have done this many times to come into a very tumultuous period societally governmentally, you know, uh, sort of um, like politically, but for people, like personally, for individual lives, although it's on like a grand scale often or a big scale, you've done this again and again, but this is sort of your work. Um, there's, they're comparing it uh, to being angelic in nature that this is what people say, this is how people describe it, like human beings describe it, angelic, um, because they often can't access this type of compassion, right, in, their, in, in the world, They're, they have difficulty. And when they see somebody who's so able to, compa to access this compassion, they, this is how they describe it, because it seems uh, I was going to say superhuman, but there's a different world, word that um, they would like to use, but I, it seems almost, 
uh, otherworldly beyond human capabilities. But of course it's not. And of course you're not the only one. But you've done this again and again, as others have, who I'm going to describe as like angelic in nature. And I don't, I I know that may seem like um, hyperbole to you, like an overstatement. But you, but they want you to understand that this is how humanity truly sees people of compassion. They are showing me um, oh, Clara Barton, I think, the nurse. And she was described as like the angel of the battlefield, they're telling me. Um, but that's why. That that's how human beings describe this nature. But there are several, they show me an image symbolically of like what we would think of as angels. And this sort of gives me <laughs> um, goosebumps. Descending from the heavens. This is very symbolic, like with wings and everything, but like descending from the heavens onto the earth right now. There, so there are many people doing this kind of work. They want you to understand that. They want you to understand your nature. I don't know if I've said this before, but you're in a very evolved soul. You've, you've, you've lived so many lives, like willingly putting yourself out there. There are many people who sort of, um, souls who kind of play it safe sometimes, um, and, and that's fine. You know, there's no judgment there. But they, they sort of stay in their little, like, niche of almost like protection. And then they'll put themselves out there into a lifetime and kind of come back and regroup and put themselves out there into a lifetime. But you have been, like, gung-ho with... And it's not just Earth life. There are many, many other lives. But it's, it's a study in providing comfort and at sort of this base level of um, a cradle of love that allows people and helps people as they're trying to get through many different kinds of physical existence, but many, many times in this physical world, this planet that we're on, this, this earth. This Knight of Swords, you know, he comes sort of crashing into this Queen of Wands that that you are and the things that you're doing. And you know, swords are all about the way we think, the, the human mind, right? This isn't talking about you. This is talking about the nature of the world right now and the swiftness which which with which things are happening it's head spinning right and it's it's only they say accelerating there are multiple they say crises happening in the world and coming into the world this isn't a like a dire prediction this isn't like um apocalyptic right it's not the the end times <laughs> um it's of our own making but it's also regenerative it it brings about a healing eventually to the world why because in all these pockets where these sort of angelic figures are residing they they gather others to them and they spread it throughout the world But there are many who who sort of fall by the wayside, get caught up in greed and uh, anger and hate and fear. All those things can be sort of put under the banner of fear. Misjudgment, um, very, you know, caught up in the density of of earth life, so much fear. Um, and so it's this kind of weird dichotomous world that we're that we're living in, where there's so much now and going forward in the next thirty or forty years, um, 
there's so much kind of destruction of old ways and old ways of thinking. And the only way for them to sort of move out of the way of like good things is like this falling down, this crumbling, this destruction. But that's happening, um, which doesn't mean in 30 or 40 years, the world is like perfect, you know, it's like paradisical or something. It doesn't mean that. It means that enough old ideas are laid to rest that there's sort of like a flowering of the very thing that you're working in, which is compassion, care for others, love, spiritual growth, good intentions, right? There's just more of it. And some of these very, but but to be like clear, some of these very uh, destructive institutions fall away. And by destructive, I mean um, institutions that may claim to help people, but really don't. Or, or institutions that, you know, um, in some way or another inflict pain. There's a restructuring of the idea of war too, or the fear of war. Um, that's kind of on a longer track, but um, you know, I, I won't go into the, the ways in which that um, falls away because I kind of don't want to look at it, but also it's not like important, as important for, you know, the purpose of this reading. Um, but know that there's like this swiftness of all these things, this knight of sword energy, like coming, like this is usually a very positive card. And in some ways it still is because it's talking about how things are changing. But know that just because of the nature of the human mind, this sword like mind that we have, there's a lot to go through yet. But let's talk about your work because you have to understand that with this symbolism of like the angels that they're showing me coming down, it's not that everybody has to, every one of these individuals of which you are one has to do like these monumental things. You touch who you touch, right? You work with what brings you joy, just like this Queen of Wands energy, what brings you uh, satisfaction, um, hope, right? Um, enjoyment. It's very important to be enjoying what you do, even as, you know, sometimes you're, you are kind of stepping out of your comfort zone. That's important too. But you individually are not expected to save the world or save mankind. You are only expected to give of your heart. And I shouldn't even say expected. You only want to give of your heart. That was your plan coming into this world. But you did know the type of world that you were coming into. And certainly your, your counselor guide knew that, right? So you, you discuss this. But your, your, your world is... Hmm. I want to get this right. Do what feels right and it with loving intention to grow or, you know, be as comfortable as you can. But when you feel this need and this urge and this desire to sort of grow in whatever way and whatever direction, and this is true in all aspects of your life. When you feel that need, even if it feels a little bit oh, scary or, you know, different, whatever, this is your soul. And your guides calling on you uh, to take the next step and reminding you of the goals that you had and telling you with very loving intention that this is good and this is right and the timing is right. So there you have it. Thank you so much for listening to this audio recording of a reading. Uh, this, as I said, is somewhat typical of the readings I give in that there's always a lot of information that comes through and it does give you sort of insight into uh, how I read for people. Also, for the past few years, I have um, offered gift cards for people for readings uh, that you can use for yourself or buy for other people. They're good forever. And um, 
you will get, uh, it's all done, you know, via the interwebs. Um, you get information about your reading, how to use it, how to send it to other people and all that kind of uh, stuff. When you purchase one, they're at a discount. I will have them for a while at a 25% discount for my regular fee. And um, as I said, buy as many as you want for future use. So um, until next time, please take care of yourself. Please take care of others and bye for now.